everybody, how you doing? This is Angelo, and I get asked quite a bit about contour selection and doing a partial contour. So how do we do that in Fusion? I'm going to show you a couple of things that I do and a couple of tips and tricks. So I'll show you the part that I have, and it's just a simple rectangular part. So generally in Fusion, if you want to machine around the outside of that part, you would go to 2D, 2D Contour. We would select a tool, come over to Geometry, and we can click on that bottom edge. We can control our height. We can go a distance below that. Another thing I do in a case like this, you can do a selection, select the top of that jaw, and keep your tool a certain distance above that jaw. And so now that's what we get, just a contour around the part. But that's a full contour around the part. What if we just wanted to do the end? So just this side here and just this side here. How would we go about doing that in Fusion? So we, I'll go into the operation and we'll edit that. So right click this operation, edit, come over to geometry. I will deselect that chain. And a couple ways to do that. So one, one way you can do it, you can click on that edge and then uh, Fusion will give you that blue highlight. You'll click that again. Come over here to the open contour and we select the end of what we desire there. I will hit the green plus. Very important that you select that green plus as that will accept that contour. So let's come over to this side now and click on this edge. Select that one more time. Again, verify open contour. Come over to the end. Hit that green plus. So now you can see we've got both ends selected as two chains. We can verify that there. I'll hit OK. And there you have it. Another way to do it so I'll right click edit, come into geometry, deselect that. So another way that one can do that is, so I've got a Mac and I'm gonna hold the option key on the PC, it will be alt. So I'll hold the option key, click over here, that will just do a single contour selection or a single entity I should say. I'll click that again. And now Fusion knows that it's already an open contour. And then I can come over here, click that end, accept that. Come over to this side. Again, hold Option on my Mac, Alt on my PC. Click that a second time. Come over to the end, accept that with that green plus. Again, verify I've got my two, two chains selected. Hit OK, and there we have it. Another thing I'll point out is that red arrow. When you're in geometry selection, that red arrow shows the side of the contour the tool is on and the direction, and then also that distance from the blue line or the contour you selected to the arrow. That's the radius of the tool. So if it's a smaller tool, that red arrow will be closer. If it's a larger tool, obviously, it would be out here. So that red arrow uh, serves three purposes. Again, shows the side of the contour it's going to cut, the direction of the cut, and then the radius of the tool. So you have it. A couple of tips and tricks on open contour selection. So hopefully this helps you guys uh, make heads and tails out of contour selection. And I will see you guys next time.